Hello, my name is Laura, and I'm going to tell you my top three favorite video games as of January 12th, 2016, and what makes them great. My third choice is Alice Madness Returns. In Alice Madness Returns, you follow Alice Little, who is an orphan going insane from witnessing the deaths of her own family. Going through the game, Alice's mind starts falling apart due to a nightmare train that breaks everything in its path. Through the journey that is her broken reality, she pieces what happens of the night of the fire to find the true reason why her family is dead, being the therapist who turns into the doll maker. This game is on my list for the game design, attention to detail, and use of insanity in the plot. I'm trapped in my past. My second choice is Mirror Layers. Mirror Layers is a game that breaks the fourth wall. Being able to make files on your computer brings you to their Facebook page and brings the game into your world. How you play the game is simple. Bounce between the rooms through a mirror. One world is simple, has everything neat and tidy like our own. The other side of the mirror is dark. You are chased by some creature that comes through the mirror and tries to get rid of you. Flipping between the two rooms, you have to collect pieces and solve puzzles. What makes this game great is the fact that you can't play alone. Your game has pieces that other games don't, as well as missing pieces that other games have. Through the Facebook page, you share and collect the pieces from other players. Without them, you cannot beat the game. My top game is Tales from the Borderlands. Tales from the Borderlands is a game that is so changeable by the choices you make. You play as two characters, Rai, Reese, uh, who starts off as a worker from Hyperion that gets changed to a janitor from his new boss, Hugo Vasquez. Being enraged, Rai, Reese and his buddy, Vaughn take $10 million from Hyperion and go buy a vault key that they discovered Hugo was going to get off his computer. You also play as Fiona, who starts as a con artist who works with her sister Sasha and their mentor Felix to sell a fake vault key to Hyperion leader Hugo Vasquez. This game is at the top of my list due to the many choices you can make that change the story. The way you introduce yourself, the people you save or let die, the people you encourage, the way you are a con artist, some players that you may kill yourself or may not have a choice on losing. That's why this game is at the top of my list. I do hope you give some of these games a chance to play for yourself. Thank you for listening. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream, it's a memory. <laughs>